this one I want to soul trap also that was on touch exactly is good and 60 seconds to kill him before the soul trap still wears off and we got it but we did not catch the soul sadly could it be that we don't have an empty gem or is the, it might be that the gem is too small so let us heal up again which also drops a save This does not sound very healthy, to be honest. This sounds like an Atronach or something like that. Uh, let's see. Still want to know what the name of this is. This is Shesh Pilamat. And of course, curious as I am, I'm going to go in. I mean, it is a shrine. will try. It seems that he will actually do so. Escape while you can. That's two to twenty points, fifteen to thirty points. Okay. Switching like this is more reliable, actually. This is five points for 30 seconds. Ah, yeah, that was the super strong one, wasn't it? Absorb health, 13 points for... This is good, and now we need to switch to the weapon. Kill him off and then heal because our magicka is empty. Oh, great. Just great. Let's head here. There we go, we can rest here. And I'm going to save after the rest just so we don't need to rest again when we load. Should we die? I want to try something actually. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to keep trying with the empiric touch. That was not a good idea. Yes, we are overburdened. We have been overburdened. Now we can use the empiric touch. And I'm going. To, I'm doing this to train the school and to drain the health of our enemy. Let's see what this is. And now we're going to just fetch the valuables. This is not very valuable. The amulet also isn't. Well, the exquisite ring is uh, expensive shoes. Uh, let's let's just take everything off of them. Now we're over encumbered again, obviously. But we're going to do the old mark. And I'll see the intervention. Now we're in Molagmar. We need to drop some stuff. We, since we're over encumbered, let us just. Stuff. Wow. Wow. Value 2800. Um, so we do need to get rid of some money actually. Because the money is very heavy also. I remember that we wanted to do this. We need to throw all the armor here.
was kind of sad. Now let's see if there is someone we can sell this stuff to. That was... Let's see... Red Orange Stronghold. I think this is a very, very bad place to end up in after having a Deviant Dimension, to be honest. So I think the only traders that we might find are in there. Do we have a feather spell? That would be way better, to be honest. Um, there is a feather spell. Yes, 50 points, which would pump us up to 300 weight points. Go on about your business. I am. Um, that is one point of weight too much. Let's see if we can alleviate that by creating some potions and throwing them away basically if they're not interesting. So let's see. Of course restore magicka would be best but as you can see it does not seem like we do have any ingredients. No we don't have any ingredients that are actually kind of combining together. So I'm just going to drop that, those bad clothing. So now I can use the feather and see if I can find someone. First I need to. Of course I can't heal. Grumble, grumble. Okay, now I'm... This is a really bad situation. I actually do need to throw everything on the ground because the um, and then run back and forth because I can't heal here to get my Magicka back. So, and you don't, you don't buy that stuff, right? It, this is Restore Health. No. Uh, restore Fatigue, Restore Health, Restore Magicka, Restore Health, Cure Poison. More Fatigue, 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 Health, and this is always getting better. So restore health, I can get rid of the weak restore health. The weak re these weak, weak potions. And these are potions that I brewed myself, I think. I'm now going to just check. Just want to get to the to the point where there are Quickly, now, Bender, I haven't much time. May you find all that you see, traveler. Yep. I Seems am nice to be at your service, like Bender. there is I'm not going to search the whole temple. So I am going to put a time lapse here and sell all that stuff and then recall into <clears throat> into the shrine. Fully healed and fully, well, sold out, uh, fully sold everything. And now we can continue 
So what I wanted to try was if this was the thing where you can activate the statue. No, you can't. Okay. Cannot activate the statue to get a quest. I think if you if I take the dagger, then uh, I will be attacked. Okay, but this was what I wanted to try. I wanted to see if these were the Daedric shrines where I can actually worship a Daedra because I know this is possible. Uh, that's the wrong one. Oh, there we go. We can worship a Daedra because this is possible in the follow-ups and I'm pretty sure that it's also possible in this game but I have not yet seen any shrine where this is possible so if I see these Daedric shrines I'm going to try doing this to see maybe one of them actually gives us a, a quest because that's what happens in the other parts in the newer ones and we are heading South. Just going to go past this shrine here and see what's down south. Yeah, let's pick that up. Why not? There is Fire Atronach, of course, is. Uh, Fire Atronach means they are immune to fire, so I need to have another spell ready. Spark, for example. Yes, Spark is on target. That does not do any damage, basically. See what else we can do. We could paralyze him. Okay, they do have spell reflection, as it seems. Damn it! Spell reflection. We could summon a helper and then just stay. Bonewalker, Bonewalker makes them encumbered. Hey. I wanted to do the magic thing. No, I first need to heal. We have 32 magicka. Let us restore some medica while they are fighting. Restore fatigue, restore health, restore health. We don't have any magicka restoration. Okay, so we should have used the sword all along. That one is way better. And the Bone Walker was super weak. Well, we tried. We need to learn um, enchanting at some point. So when, so I should be using the soul gems to recharge my weapon or something. Ah, we should have used the ancestor for the ghost. Yeah. I'm going to ready that one. Ancestor's ring. There was someone here. Yeah. Oh, someone I can talk to. I actually thought that was someone who would attack us on sight. I don't know you. What do you want? Actually, nothing. I just want to go by. Uh, 
and this shrine is right in the middle of the pathway. So I'm should be here on the left hand side somewhere. And we're going to go out are already in the in the same area. This is where it is, right hand side. Okay, I messed that up. And we want to go south of there. To find a place called Odin Where I guess there is something way stronger to kill us off. But nevertheless, we're going to try. I'm going to use the go that goes to fight for me. Let us see how many treasures does the ring have left. No, I can use this a while. Doesn't seem like the ghost is making damage. The only reason I was doing this is so I can actually um that I'm going to put the gem on myself, right? Recharge, Ancestor's Ring, perfect. Because basically I just want to train the skill. Because enchantment is a 66 of 100. Why can't I? Oh, this one is empty, okay. Recharge. There we go. And now Enchant is 95 of 100, so this actually works. Recharge. Even though the ring does not recharge, we're just going to increase the skill. It takes a while, but now that I know this, I can simply spam weak soul gems and do that in a time lapse at some point in time. Anyway, let's take the Guar Hide. Oh, the ghost is still there. Yeah, this is us heading south. It seems like this is the entrance of some ancestral tomb. Maybe the place that we're looking for. I have forgotten what kind of type of place we're looking for. There we are. and let's just take the bone meal and this was one of the few loading screens because with Morrowind they made it so that the cells around us are being loaded no this is Halervu ancestral tomb okay so we need to do some searching we're going to simply head south so then they made it so that the um, areas around us, they call them cells, are loaded while we're traveling the map. So it's always the distant land is starting to be loaded. So we don't actually get a loading screen. So this is one of the few occasions where we actually get one. So one thing that I need to do in my, uh, in my uh, software is that when I have an entry in the to-do list that I can see, or, uh, that I can show it in the tree, in the quest tree. So if you've seen the making of, you will have seen the software that I wrote, which has a quest tree and then transforms that to a flat list of to-do items. And basically right now I'm just seeing go to Odiniran, south of Ensure Dams, on that flat list, but I don't have the quest line that I added it to in the tree open. And I want to basically just uh, have a button there, show this in the tree. There we are south of Mitchell Dams, but obviously this can be a bit tricky to find. But I still assume that it will be somewhere where one of these 
Rhodes is. So it was just not sticking to the road because I wanted to go more south. The rats are getting more diseased here. Let's head to the water. Let's see if there is if there is a door close to the water or something. If that's a cave. And then I'm real quick going to check what quest this belonged to. I'm sure this was a house to bunny thing. Something from Master Aaron, I guess. So let's see. House Telvani, Master Aaron. Save Milin Ferrum in their tower. Yes, that was that was someone who was bothered by a different house. Now I remember T is rest. Someone's fleeing, okay. I'm going to let them flee for now. And there he comes again. Okay. That's what always happens. They flee for a while and then they get more aggressive or their fear subsides and then they just come. So this is the place we found it. I actually did not look it up. I just randomly checked out the place and found it perfect. Let's do a drop a little save because we're going to have to kill some people who are attacking our friend here and I guess it's you will die! So these are the people from that house that are attacking him. That was all my Magicka. They, they just took all my Magicka. Let me see if I do this. I guess I will just not hit them. But when I do, I will do lots of damage. I'm going to load and um, head back in instead of trying to heal myself. Okay, so I'm going, just going to head in with the weapon. Because I'm kind of a one-trick panthe here. I can only do the fireball spell well. I do need to find myself some more damage spells. Okay, so this is the trap door. Going to you will suffer greatly. And the poison damage is very good, so I guess I should get a poison spell. It seems to work well for lots of enemies actually. So let's see if we can make one of that one of these. Poison damage. And um, actually, they don't have anything of worth, so I'm going to keep it that way. And um, you you're the Enwa. Uh. And now we don't have the poison damage anymore until we head there out. Is no and escape. yes, we're going to head out and just rest here. This will also, this should also, yeah, recharge the item. You and sorry that if I don't talk while fighting, but for some reason I need to concentrate to see if I need to heal myself or something like that. This means I need to, uh, what's wrong about? I need to go and drop a kick save. Yeah, I can't talk because as you see, words don't make sense when I do something else while talking. Especially now that I had COVID, which of course is now two months ago, but still I suffer, I suffer from not noticing the word trapped. Um, what is what is that? That is drain magic out. Summon scamp. It's also nice. Better than a ghost, to be honest. 
they they already made themselves at home as it seems because the the, the chests are not forbidden the, these are forbidden but the chests weren't so they they made themselves at home and just went in here wow. levitate iron club lock chest No, I did, I did not put the lockpicks into a quick slot. I mean, I do have the spell, honestly, but this way I, tr I train security. Okay. And then there is this trapped door, which I can try untrapping with the probes there. And then unlock with the lockpick. Because I'm good enough to do this. There is skeletons. That one is ah, that one is one of these the other things. Yes. Um, going to do this and then summon the scamp from the belt. This is this is a thing. Um, now I can attack because he's not attacking me. Yeah, yes, exactly. And I was attacking in his into his back, which dealt extra damage because he can't defend from it. Aha, uh -huh, there is someone else there. A bone lord. Let's real quick summon the scamp again. And that one. Does it? No, it does not dismiss the scamp. And the skeletal minion. Which we fit. Oh, we, we have a chance of zero of doing this. And now we should use heart heal, and we're nearly out of. Magic out. They're going to. They're they're slaying us because they're now blocking the way. We can't do anything, so I can also just go ahead. 